Mm. Huawei sent me a present. No, seriously, it was like wrapped in everything. Let's see what's inside. Turns out we have the Huawei MateBook X. Now I did an article on this uh, when they announced this new laptop alongside their other two new MateBooks. Uh, and I have to admit, I was a little excited about them. But before we go into a full review, I figured we should probably do an unboxing and go over the specs. First up, we have the box. Inside there, we are presented with the laptop itself, which we'll get to in a bit. Under that, we have two boxes. In the first one, we have the USB-C to USB-C cable that is used to charge the device as it only has USB-C ports on it for power, and a USB-C dongle that allows for DVI, HDMI, and another USB-C port that's kindly included. In the other box, we have the charging brick, which is actually pretty small. Which brings us to the laptop itself. The one I have here is the prestige gold color, and there is also a space gray option. Yes, they called it space gray. But either has a nice solid metallic look and feel to it, which I appreciate. It's super light weighing only 2.31 pounds and is compact measuring in at 11.26 inches by 8.31 inches by just under half an inch. The front of the device sports a 13 inch 2K IPS display with some seriously small bezels. And it's kind of cool that they got a 13 inch screen on what is basically a 12 inch laptop. The keyboard is also matching a metallic look and feel and actually has a good clicky nature to it. Above the keyboard to the right, we have the power button, which also doubles as a fingerprint sensor when you lightly put your finger on it for Windows Hello. There's a one megapixel camera along with an ambient light sensor above the screen and Dolby Atmos tuned speakers that should sound pretty good below it. On one side, we have our USB-C and headphone jack. And on the other, we just have a solitary USB-C port. Powering all of this is the option of an Intel i5-7200U processor or the i7-7200U processor, 8 gigs of RAM, and an Intel HD 620 GPU. For storage, you have the option of either 256 gigs or a 512 gig SSD. It's running Windows 10 and has the usual Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in as well. And you might notice it looks a bit like another certain company's laptops, but frankly, I don't think that's a bad thing. The laptop's pricing isn't finalized, but should start at about $1,400 here in the US and will be available this summer. There you go, guys. Let me know what you guys think of the specs and the look of this thing. I frankly like the way it looks uh, and it feels pretty solid so far, uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And also let me know if you'd like me to do a full review. If you like this video though, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. If you want more videos like this, please check out my channel. And if you like what you see there, please subscribe. Also, go check out my tech blog, uh, something I've been doing for a very long time now, but just restarted it. And you can find all sorts of tech news, other tutorials that don't necessarily make it a video, uh, and a lot more. So check that out. There's a link below. As always, though, thanks for watching.